fellow YouTubers uh, and other people who might stumble across this video. Uh, we are back today. Uh, I am Nate. Uh, behind the camera is Carl. And we are at a 2022 uh, Solaire. 242. 242. There you go. Thanks. I'm trying to get all the numbers worked out in my head. It's been a it's been a long morning. Anyway, so we're going to do a, a, a quick video walkthrough, relatively quick, I guess. So we'll start on the outside. Uh, you got the uh, the powered uh, tongue jack, which is nice. You got extended retract. You got a nice little light on there. Uh, the weight on this is the tongue weight. It's 800 pounds, I believe. Uh, you got your standard two propane tags here in the front. Uh, you got your place for your battery back here. Uh, if you look behind that, you do have the uh, the stabilizer jacks. Uh, they are push button, uh, which is nice and very handy. You got this nice little uh, LED glow strip up front. Uh, the nice big window that you can see out. Uh, in here, you got a nice good size cargo area with your 50 amp cord. Uh, I believe all of the Slayers come pre-prepped with the 50 amp, so you can always upgrade AC units and add a ton of extra goodies. Uh, this also has the motion sensor light in here, uh, which is cool. Of course, it senses motion, so it's on right now. Can't really demonstrate that. But as we move down, uh, you see the uh, the Moride steps, very sturdy, adjustable just by uh, back here, and then move on. It's decorated with some uh, good things. The alpha ply roofing membrane, uh, the lion's head, uh, roadside, two years co complimentary roadside, and one year no excuses on your tires, uh, up to five years on the radial, and lifetime on the structural. Followed so, by that beautiful Paradise Dome sticker. Oh yeah, dome tag. That's right, baby. Yeah. Uh, does have a nice little outdoor grill and prep area. Uh, yeah, so that's a cutting board. I always forget what that is. And then uh, you got a nice little hot point refrigerator. Put some drinks and whatever you need to out there. Uh, moving along, you got your outdoor entertainment. So you got your TV mount right here. You got your speakers with a nice little LED blue lights. You can plug in your cable. And then you also have some outlets to plug in other devices. Uh, here's the stabilizer jack you got going on. Uh, Lippert is the name brand. Uh, Lippert does everything. They did this awning too. Uh, really great company. Back here, you actually got an extra outdoor, uh, if you wanted to hook up an outdoor grill that's propane, you got your quick connect right here. Uh, plugs in very easily. Just wham bam. Uh, back here, uh, you do have uh, a little hitch that you can put a bike rack on. Uh, you would need to do either one or the other because of the weight. So if you did want to install a bike rack, you would have to take off the back tire. But as you can see, there's plenty of storage, so you can put it wherever you want. Uh, probably in the back of your truck if you wanted to. Anyway, there's that. Now you got nice little LED uh, lighting along with your, your running lights, and uh, it's already pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. So everything's come prepped, easy to install. Over here, you got an outdoor light. You got your connector for your 50 amp. Uh, you got solar connections. If you wanted to use uh, suitcase solar panels, just plugs right in there, you charge your battery, run all of your lights and stuff. You got your uh, gray and sewer outlet right there. Uh, you got a nice big slide. Uh, I believe, look out underneath this puddle. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it's sealed really well under here to help uh, prevent from dry rot. It also has, uh, it doesn't have the Lippert Schwinn tech. It has these, I like these, they're a little sturdier. Uh, they seem to last a little longer. A lot longer. <laughs> a lot longer, uh, less problems with it. You got your six gallon water heater right here. And then you got your wet bag. Uh, with battery disconnect. With the battery disconnect, yep. So your outdoor shower, um, your plumbing system set up so you can do dry camping, you can fill the tank, city, uh, you can winterize and sanitize it. Uh, this also has uh, your sewer back flush on it, which would be the, the black. And then your city water or just your inlet is right there with a nice little convenience uh, 
uh, routing hole that you can put there. So, I do like the way Solaire does their wet base. It's nice. Um, so, for uh, all the people interested in the interior, that's where we're headed to next. Very spacious. Um, again, I like to point out, you know, Solaire, Palomino are all Amish built. Uh, they come out of Michigan and they have uh, the least amount of warranty issues out of the Forest River line, I believe. Uh, I think we've only had one warranty issue and it technically wasn't even a warranty issue. It was more of a customer accidentally breaking something. So these are very high quality and they're, they're really good. They're the best bang for your buck, uh, especially, you know, mid-sized travel trailers between the, the 30 and $50,000 range. You can really get a lot for your money. Um, so moving on, in here is a giant closet. Does it have a light in it? It sure does. There you go. Plenty of storage. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You take that out and put a uh, washer dryer combo on there. You probably could actually. Very nice. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't be able to move that, I don't think, because that's where the outdoor kitchen is. Oh but, yeah. But the top, you might be able to sit a washer dryer in there. I think you could get one in there. I think you could. Um, I'll show you the master bedroom. So it's already pre-prepped pre -prepped for that uh, second AC unit that's right there. So you just take out that fan, three, four wires, you're good to go. Uh, it's also duct, as you see uh, up in the front, there's two ducts. Uh, duct. Ducted. It ducted, yep. Um, and then you got that uh, great window in the front that lets in a lot of, a lot of natural light. You got uh, your USB outlets and regular outlets. You got your little cubby holes to get into your wardrobe. There's storage under here, I believe. Not full storage, but at least enough to throw plenty of goodies and extra shoes and clothes or whatever you might need. Or yourself if you want to. Yeah, you could. You can fit a whole human person in there. <laughs> Not recommend it, but... Not recommend it. Honey, the kids are acting up again. Put them in the shoe box. Uh, <laughs> Woo! I'm kidding. Uh, no, we have four kids. We've never done that. <laughs> That's good uh, that you haven't. Oh, well, we may have thought about it once or twice. Anybody who has kids will understand. <laughs> I'm kidding. We would never do that. Uh, you got a good theater seating here right in front of the TV. Uh, you can order this with a nice little fireplace in front. I believe you can also order it with uh, a pull-out couch if you wanted to. But these things are surprisingly comfortable. Uh, you got nice little storage for your remotes, cup holders, reclining, yeah, movie night. As I've learned though, when you're pulling that recliner lever, don't stand in front of the chair because it will take out your knees. Yes, it will. It's got it's got some good torque on it. Yes, it does. Yep. Um, also have USB outlets here. Is there any other outlets? No. Uh, this table does fold up, so you can easily store it underneath the bed. Um, yeah, you got your TV, your entertainment center, it does DVDs, it's also Bluetooth, and you have USB, and auxiliary, and uh, zone control, so you can do indoor-outdoor speakers. Um, I believe it'll... No, it won't control the outdoor TV. No, just send signal from this TV in here to the speakers. So, uh, you also got a nice little uh, oven with your glass flash shield uh, folds up three burners um, really nice gray stone good quality uh, you've got a nice little microwave up here tons of storage oh yeah the so, TPMS sensor yes so you got your tire sensors uh, that plugs into your wheels out there uh, really handy to have uh, the worst blowouts are the ones that are under inflated that'll rip up everything um, so this will definitely let you know if you need to put some air in your tires. Uh, also for that induction stove that's outside, uh, you got your induction pan. So it does come with that. Gives you a couple little extra bells and whistles. You want to give the uh, viewers a little bit of insight on induction? Can't use your regular pans, correct? No, you cannot. Um, I think it works on magnets. Uh, it's very scientific, above my pay grade, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, what it does is it really does reduce the the amount of heat uh, that that it gives off. It doesn't use um, propane or anything like that. So should be less smoky, 
less hazardous, less heat, and better, quicker cooking. I guess all around it's supposed to be better. I mean, hey, think about it. You're already outside cooking. You don't want to add more heat, right? That's true. Yeah. That's true. Absolutely. Um, moving on. I was trying to think of something else to say. Uh, you got a nice little drying rack um, for your uh, farm style sink, deep well sink. Uh, the thing is like really nice. It's like the sprayer I got at my house. Uh, very convenient. Uh, there we go. Right behind you, Carl, is uh, the GE General Electric uh, 12 volt refrigerator, which is really nice. It's already starting to build frost. So we've had this thing plugged in maybe an hour. Yeah, roughly, yeah. Yeah. So you can see way better than the propane uh, style. It, it cools, what, four times faster, and it stays colder, and it also has way more room, too. And because you don't got all that propane, those propane fins taking up space. You don't, yep. And all those extra components and a uh, little burner thing. Um, and you can fit more frozen pizzas in here. That's our standard <laughs> metric of measurement for freezers. Um, let's see, moving on back. Uh, and then you got your giant bathroom. Uh, plenty of space. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Uh, plenty of storage for towels, soaps, toiletries, etc. You got the uh, glass enclosure for, yeah, for the shower, which is always a nice feature. And actually, I think this is backwards somehow. Is no. it? No, it's not. I'm just trying to figure out how to latch it for travel. There you go. That's how it works. But you also can sit down too. Gather your thoughts while washing your face. Yep. You know, sometimes we just like to sit here and let the shower hit me in the face and <laughs> think for hours. Well, for it has a six gallon water heater, so for about six to ten minutes. Unless you like cold showers and then sit here as long as you like. I don't know. <laughs> the cold shower is the thinking man's shower. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's America. You can do what you want. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, these walkthroughs are getting out of hand. But uh, uh, I'm Nate with Paradise RV. Carl's the man behind the camera. Check us out at uh, rvparadise.com. It'll have uh, more videos, more photos. It'll have all of the pricing. A full list of the specs. I probably messed something up on the specs. It's hard to keep track of everything, but it'll have everything you need there. Um, so rvparadise.com, and then um, yeah, you can either text or email us, and we'll we'll respond. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Hey, Nate, we forgot one thing. Yeah, we got to introduce the new guy. Oh, oh, the new guy. Oh, <laughs> everybody, Joseph. meet Joseph. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, Joe, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh Hello. my goodness. Our whole 332 followers. <laughs> yes, everybody. Um, glad to be a part of the new industry. Uh, a lot of our units are very nice. Uh, most most of them being brand new. Uh, keep an eye on us because we're up and coming, and uh, we're here to serve the people, and we'll get you we'll get you a good deal. Come check us out. Perfect.